Welcome to Seven Grand. My name is Chad Owen, and I'm here to show you how to make a Sazerac cocktail today. The drink is particularly well suited for those old fashioned and Manhattan drinkers that are looking for a little bit of a change of pace. The drink in construction is made nearly identical to that of an old fashioned uh, with a couple important changes. First, we're going to start with a very cold glass, add a sugar cube, and about six dashes of Peychaud's bitters. The bitters themselves, developed by Antoine Peychaud in New Orleans, um, and the Sazerac cocktail was first served around the 1850s in the Sazerac Coffee House in New Orleans. Um, so this drink is very old, argued to be the original cocktail, although that of course is drunken bar say. Give the sugar cube a nice muddle, make sure that that sugar really starts to dissolve, and then we're gonna add two ounces of rye whiskey. In this case, we're gonna use Wild Turkey Rye 101. The 101, I find, adds a really nice character to it because we're gonna give it a really nice long stir, allow some dilution to happen, and the backbone of that whiskey, because it's a little bit of higher proof, it's got a nice spice characteristic, it's really gonna hold up over time. Add our ice. And just start stirring away. The drink in its end will be served neat in this glass or without any ice. We'll do an absinthe rinse or an herb saint or absinthe alternative. It's really not that important. It's more of about the aroma. It really gives a really nice star anise or kind of licorice nose. Plays really well into Peychaud's bitters. So here we'll do this rinse. Discard the absinthe. I like to give this a nice final stir while I while it's set. Make sure you don't have any residual sugar just sitting at the bottom of the glass. Now the garnish, absolutely critical with a Sazerac. You do a nice lemon peel. Express the oils over the top of the drink. Puts all those aromatics inside the glass. Nice subtle touch. And then you're going to wipe the oils along the edge of the glass. Really perfumes the glass, allows that aroma to stick with you for the entirety of the drink. So there you have it, Sazerac cocktail.